Good day everyone. Now here's a quick video of how to get the mouse position here from the screen into your script. Now okay if I hide this canvas because it's purely just for demonstration purposes. Starting with a new scene we will create a script and you can call it anything you want but I'm going to call it mouse position. And then I'm going to create an empty game object called mouse. I just need somewhere to put the script for now so I'm going to attach that to my mouse game object and you can see it appears there. So let's open this one up and we're only going to need the update function here for this one and by placing it in the update we'll get a, a new value each frame. So to start off we'll create a vector 3, call it mouse position and then to get that we do input dot mouse position and this here will return a vector 3 for ease of use when interacting with the 3D game world. However, the z value of this vector will always be 0. Now I think I would prefer a vector 2 myself as the screen is represented in two dimensions, but it's not a big deal. Okay, so the quickest way to access the coordinate values of this will be to create a float, we'll call it x, and we'll go mouse position dot x, and then we'll do the same for y. Now it really is that quick to get the values, and now you can use them however you want. So I'll save that, and for this demonstration I have made some canvas elements, so if I turn these canvas elements on, here we go, and I click play, and as you can see here, these values are what's being output by the input.mouse position. Now if we move our mouse around a bit, you can see that here is our origin of our game view. So if I move my mouse all the way here you get 0, 0, but the values will continue to update even if I go outside the game window as you can see. Now this will normally happen if your cursor doesn't have a lock state and even the values will continue across multiple monitors and be careful when you're playing with the scale here as you will get funky values being returned. <laughs> now a minus value will generally mean that our cursor has left the game view in at least three different quadrants here so that can be helpful. Keep in mind, when you do set an aspect ratio, the origin is now here, as the game view is now here. The game window is not counted towards the mouse position, like a uh, game view area, as you'll see the minus values now. Cool, so I hope this explanation was helpful. Thank you for watching, and there's a snippet of the code in the description, if you would like to see it, and I'll see you next time.